Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today in this video I'm doing this spotlight or halo eyeshadow look. This look is very very good. I mean you can substitute this look with any colours that you choose to go for and I think it's another good look compared to the standard smoky eye look. So if you wanted to do something different with your eyeshadows, this I feel is a really good look to go for. I have also added glitter on top as well but if you don't like glitter you don't have to use it it's just one of these additional things that I decided to go for so if you want to see how I created this look please keep watching don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel too so firstly I'm applying this vitamin E serum by the body shop which really helps to nourish and soothe the skin for the makeup application and then for my lips I'm applying this Burt's Bees Wax lip balm just to help nourish my lips as well. Then for my eyes which I always start off with I'm using the MAC 24 hour extend eye base and this just helps to prime it nicely for the eyeshadow application. And before I do anything, I'm going to be applying this Lane Low Paint Pot by MAC, which helps to neutralise my eyelids so that the colours can be seen a lot nicer. But before I do that, I will be setting it with my Kick-Ass Setting Powder, and this way I can blend the eyeshadows really nicely. So first of all, I'm taking this pink colour by Cryolan, and it's in their shade 157, and I'm going to use that as my transition colour. You can use as much or as little as the colour that you like. I mean, I wanted to go for a bold look, so I went in for quite a nice, strong look. And then taking that palette from MAC, and it's their pink Pearl Fusion um, palette, and I'm applying the highlighter shade to my brow bone, just to highlight my brow bone, really. Then taking that purple eyeshadow, and I'm not actually sure where it's from, because the label came off from the back of it, but I'm taking, like, a dark purple eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the inner and outer corners of my eyes and then with whatever's left on the brush I'm joining it at the crease so that it's like a light um, kind of band joining the two uh, outer and inner corners together. Then for the midsection of my eyes, the bits that don't have any colour on them, I'm taking Fairy Tale, which is a shadow by Morphe, which is a really nice sort of pinky purple colour. And then with nothing literally on my brush, I'm just blending out the harsh lines from the dark purple. Taking this eye candy glitter, which is called Tutti Fruity, I'm applying it to that Fairy Tale eyeshadow, but I'm just applying this Cryolan glitter glue first so that the glitter lasts a lot longer and reduces the chances of the glitter fallout. For my eyeliner I'm taking this Morphe eyeliner and this is in the shade called Slate and I'm just literally applying that um, first starting off with the outer corner forming like a little flick and then joining all the lines together starting from the inner to the outer corners. Moving on to my face, I'm taking this Professional um, Balm by Benefits just to help prime my face, ready for foundation application. And for my foundation, I'm taking this Born This Way foundation by Too Faced, and this is in the shade called Golden. And I'm using my Morphe M435 brush just to help blend out all this foundation, and I have kind of spritzed some MAC Fix Plus spray on it as well. Then taking this NYX uh, colour corrector, and it's their peach colour corrector, I'm applying some under my eyes just to help correct the darkness under my eyes. And for concealing, I'm taking this Maybelline Anti-Age Eye Rewind Concealer and I'm applying it to the usual areas on my face that I like to highlight and conceal. Then I'm taking my damp beauty blender sponge just to help blend all that away so it's not looking too bright on my face. For my liquid contour, I'm taking the Ultra HD Foundation by Makeup Forever and I'm applying it to the usual areas of the face that I like to contour and this is in the shade Y535 and I'm just liking this method recently because it's just a lot quicker and easier to blend out compared to cream contour but by all means choose whichever method you prefer. And then it's time for baking and for that I'm taking the MAC CC powder 
and using the same dampened beauty blender that I used earlier on I'm literally packing a lot of that powder onto the sponge and then onto the areas that I liked to highlight and the, the areas pretty much that I want to bake so to line my lower waterline I'm taking the perversion eye pencil by Urban Decay and underneath that I'm going with the MAC pencil called designer purple which is a really nice glittery purple liner uh, pencil sorry um, so it's a really really nice color and easy to blend out as well for my brows I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade and this is in the shade ebony um, and again it gives it a really nice um, look to the eyebrows using that pomade. Using the Fairy Tale Shadow by Morphe, I'm just applying that to the center parts of my lower lash line and then applying some of the eye candy glitter again. But first, I did make sure that I applied the glitter glue into that area. And I'm just wiping away the baked areas because it's been time, so I think it's about time that bit came away. And then I'm moving on to my bronzer and for that I'm taking the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced which is just a gorgeous, gorgeous colour for bronzing. For contouring I'm taking my um, Sephora Baked Powder and this is in the shade Deep and I'm just applying it to the areas pretty much where I applied the liquid contour and I'm just using my MAC 100 brush for this. Then for my blush I'm taking Pink Swoon by MAC which actually looks quite bright when you're looking at it but when you apply it it's not that bright at all. For my highlight I'm taking this MUA Glow Beam which is really really bright when you apply it so just be careful with the amount that you apply but yeah it's just literally there to highlight the areas that I like to highlight pretty much. Then I'm just going to set all that with my um, Urban Decay setting spray and this is the oil controlling one before I move on to my lashes and I'm using this MAC mascara. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but I'll link it down or I'll write it down below in the description box. Then for my lashes I'm taking the Eldora False Lashes in the shape H125 which I feel is a really nice sort of natural pair to put on. It's not too much in your face but yet it gives it that nice um, look to the face. And then finally I'm taking the liquid lipstick by ABH in soft lilac which is a really really nice pinky purple colour. So that is the look complete guys. I'm going to come closer so you guys can see. Now I don't know if the camera is capturing a lot of the sparkle but in person when I'm looking at myself it's definitely a lot of shimmer going on. Um, the eye candy glitters I really really like and especially the ones that I've chosen are the more finely milled ones which look a little bit less chunky on the eyes and that's the way I actually prefer the glitters on my eyes so that's why I've chosen them and I think it just looks that much better. I have chosen purple and pink to go together um, purely because so that I can see the contrast. I was contemplating whether to do blue and purple because that works really well as well but I thought in order to for you guys to see the contrast I think it just works better that way. I know a lot of people are doing like the browns and gold sort of halo look but I wanted to do fit in with the halo theme but just to do different colours just to stand out a little bit and you guys can see also what different colours look like as well doing this technique. So I hope you guys like this video please do thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.